All right, my friends, let's just have ourselves a beautiful, amazing conversation outside the four walls of my house, getting a little fresh air, going for a drive. The idea is worrying about the shark attack versus the mosquito bite. Let's think about this logically. There's this ingrained fear of, of a shark attack, which we know the odds of it are very low to ever happen. But if it does, man, it's going to rip a leg off. It's going to be really grotesque. It's going to be bad. Bad enough that it scares some people from going into the ocean. They'll never swim because of this fear of a shark where the odds, the statistical chances of that happening are so slim that we never take action. We never go in the ocean. We never enjoy that. But we think about the other one, which is the mosquito bite, which every summer we're bit by mosquitoes all the time, all the time, all the time, probably 100, 200 over the course of the summer. And the likelihood of contracting something from a mosquito bite and different things is much, much higher. So where am I going with this, right? Right now, with the way things are going with COVID-19, everyone is very, very, very scared of the small chance that you might contract this and that it could be very detrimental, right? And there is a chance, just like there is a chance of a shark attack. But what we don't grasp and what we don't, in my opinion, spend enough time working on are the little things that add up over time that we know will negatively impact us, right? So that could be the lack of sleep. That could be the poor nutrition. That could be the lack of continuing education. That could be the lack of exercise. I had an amazing conversation with somebody today where I was just chatting about if I want to work out and be healthy when I am 65, 75, as long as I want to, then I can't stop now. And I don't want to let the fear of something that is minute that I may happen to me stop me from the things that I know I can control that will absolutely have an impact on my life down the road. So what I'm getting at, guys, as always, is trying to hammer home this message of control the things that you know will absolutely have an impact on your life one year, two years, five years from now. Again, being your nutrition, your sleep, your mindset, what you feed your mind, who you're around, and those things. Those are concrete things that will have an impact on where you are tomorrow, next year, 10 years from now. If we lose that ability because we're very focused on something that may or may not happen, and if it does, we don't know really what's gonna happen, we miss the concrete things that will happen. So have a great night, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in person so I can lay off these videos. But you know what? I love doing them because I know they help. Have a great night. Stay happy. Stay healthy.